Greetings, folks. This is Scott with the Game Audio Institute. And part of the whole idea of being sort of uh, a game audio person and kind of getting into the industry is potentially seeing where you can break in to new technologies that are happening. And we already well know about VR, of course. VR is beginning to mature. It's by no means fully done by any means. Uh, but we're beginning to kind of going into augmented reality and uh, in terms of glass glasses-based aug augmented reality, I should say, because, of course, we've all been playing. Some of us have been playing things like Pokemon Go or the Harry Potter games and stuff like that. Uh, this is more like, you know, the augmented reality glasses or the mixed reality glasses, similar to Magic Leap or the HoloLens. Uh, this one's much, much uh, less expensive. So what happened, though, is I ended up backing a product uh, a little over two years ago called Tilt 5. So Tilt 5 is basically these glasses and a retroreflective board. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about how they work, and we're also gonna have a little bit of unboxing. Uh, of course, they got hit by COVID and the delays they're in, uh, and just recently shipped to me, literally, I think about two weeks ago or so totally, but uh, I had the unboxing video that I showed basically about the day after that I got it, so, because I was all excited. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an introduction to how the system works, so let's take a look at that. The whole idea, of the Tilt 5 is that you have these glasses right here and the glasses have projectors in them and they actually are going to project onto a retro reflective surface. Retro reflective means that it actually bounces back almost all the light back into the the glasses themselves. So you get to see these images that are very quite bright, I have to say. Um, yeah, but yeah, but this is a lot of just sort of, uh, you know, uh, pre-created imagery. This isn't what you're obviously going to see. Uh, the system actually uses uh, <clears throat> basically these glasses and the board, and then also has a wand controller, which I'll show you when we unbox and stuff like that. Um, the a little, little, a little bit of backstory about on this. Um, there is a lady named Jerry Ellsworth, and she's the main person behind this product. It actually had an earlier life as a product called Cast AR, uh, which was a little bit less uh, advanced than this product. And it was actually sort of, uh, it ended up actually kind of dying an early death. Um, and then it was resurrected from the, uh, the ashes by Jerry and her team. Um, and then eventually this became Tilt 5. They did another Kickstarter and they won, they uh, surpassed that really substantially. And they are now getting very, very close to having, uh, you know, a good portion of the Kickstarter orders already fulfilled. And they're moving into being able to do pre-orders uh, fairly quickly, I think, within probably a few more months. Um, and, uh, but anyway, we're going to go see what's going on with that uh, right now. All right, we are sitting here and we have in front of us the box shipped item number LE kit. The one I ordered was the plain old LE kit. The XE kit, the only difference between the kits is basically that there's the board is a different size. That's really the main issue. So, and these only come in white. So that's why they don't have any colors, whereas the other ones are all XE the larger board. When you see how, how how big the board is in the LED size, just amazing. The XE, they're much, much larger. Anyway, so now I'm gonna open up the box. And first thing that we see is the, the surface. So this is a retroreflective surface. And uh, the deal is that the projectors will bounce off this surface, and it is actually pretty big, I have to say. So you're going to have to we'll see. It won't be backed up quite so much, and we'll we'll get the rest of it in a little bit. But I'll show you the board first. So that is this size. It's really, really quite large. And that's that. And it actually has to be turned around more like around this way in order to work the best possible way. And there it is. Okay, so that's the board that has to be present. 
the images from the Tilt 5 show up basically by reflecting the projection onto the board effectively. So that's how that's how that works basically. I ordered the one that has the slightly newer, older, uh, I should say, uh, firmware installed. So they said some stuff about some weird tracking issues here and there. It says, freed first before assembling your Tilt 5 system, you know, and it has a few other things, how to find the USB 3.0 port. I've got a USB-C, so that's basically what I'll be using. And um, I don't need to use the... I think we'll probably be all right, but we'll, but we'll find out. We're going to find out if this actually works. Um, but anyway, so that's the pre-release tra tracking. They're saying there's a little bit of tracking issue on the pre-release software. They're going to come up with a new version pretty soon, actually. So anyway, that's basically about it. Right? Like so. Anyway. And so we have what looks like a cable. Okay, that looks like a US, it's got an adapter, yep, there it is, so it's a USB-C to USB-C, and uh, there it is, it has like a little lanyard to hold it, that's kind of cute, <laughs> anyway, so that's the deal is, you probably like hang it around the thing so that it will, hold it. but the, uh, it's even branded a little bit there, it says T5 there, so that's kind of cool. And, uh, oh, I see, yeah, this might actually be, has, very, very, has a very specific kind of sort of shape to it, so it may be very well likely plugged into the glasses. Okay, not a really long cable. Put that aside. Looks like we get ourselves a little cleaning cloth. A little branding there, and never hurt anybody. And uh, that's the idea there, and clean, clean the glasses when they get a little dirty. Uh, then I will show you the wand. That's the main method of interaction. And it looks like it doesn't come with batteries, but it takes a couple of double A's. Yep, looks like double A's. I don't think these are triple A's. Um, so a couple of double A batteries in order to make that work. So I have to go and get those. And... Um, that's that. Let's see what else. And the idea is that basically you can, it can sort of actually work a little bit like a joystick. You can see that there's, can't quite see that very well, but you can see that there's those, um, you know, uh, letters, kind of like Xbox type letters. And there's also a button here and a joystick here. So you can potentially sort of do this sort of thing with it as well, but you can also, it's a six degree of freedom, you know, kind of thing. So you can use this to control stuff in the games and stuff like that. It's kind of interesting. Um, in the future, they will have hand control over stuff, but it's not yet uh, released in the firmware. And the final countdown here, the glasses. Yep, there we are. That's them. And basically what's up here is there's a bunch of projectors and cameras and stuff like that. And then, of course, this is where you basically can use to look from. Yeah, it's got the little logo there. It's got a little fan port, I think. It's got a little fan in there. Um, the speakers are pretty small, I believe. Um, I don't think there's actually a jack for speaker output on these at all. No, that's meant to basically, you just use the one that's already on your system. And that's how that works, basically. Anyway, so there we go. I uh, will start peeling these off. Like so. And that one. And this one. And there we go. I think that's it. Yep, that's all there is. So that's it. Basically, we've unboxed it. And now the next thing that we have to do is hook it up and actually try to run this thing. We'll see what happens. Okay. So, I am uh, basically looking at this situation with, uh, you're looking at the board in normal light, you know, and pretty much what's happening is you're basically just getting the, the surface of the board, and it's not very, it's not very bright, as you can see. 
Um, so it's just sort of a dull thing, but it's actually a retroreflective surface. So what happens is if I bring the glasses over to them, now the glasses actually have a projector in them. So as I do so, you will see a little bit of light on that board already, okay? Now, as I bring the glasses closer, you'll get a lot brighter image. And uh, it's a little tricky to get it all in the picture, but you're going to see it pretty soon. Yep, there it is. So that's basically what's going on here, is the, the glasses are basically projecting light onto the board, which then automatically comes back and reflects into your eyes or into the glasses. And they don't even have to really be, I mean, like I don't even have to have the lenses that much. If I have a line of sight to the projectors, I get pretty close to about the same brightness. But what is cool is that for sure, when I turn the lights down a little lower than this, so I'll get really, I'm gonna basically take the glasses and and even as you can see, even when we're not looking directly through the lenses, you can actually see quite a bit of brightness. If we get them closer this way, we get nearly the whole lens in the picture here. And you get to see kind of what's going on. You get a little strobing uh, from, the, from the camera. Basically, it's due to the fact that the camera and the uh, projectors sort of fighting with each other on the frame rate situation. Anyway, so that's basically an example of what's going on. This is like a little marble demo game that they have. And, you know, I don't, I'm not really operating it at the moment, you know. But anyway, the deal is, is that uh, they are, uh, this has about a 720p uh, per eye resolution and roughly about a 40 to 45 degree angle viewing angle, which is not too bad considering that the actual viewing surface is just the board. You can't do it anywhere else. This is not unlike typical AR where you can look at it in other places, you can only view it here on the board. So this set of glasses can be pre-ordered for about $300 to $400 or so, depending on how big the board is. This board right here is the normal size board, what's called the LE board, about 70 centimeters or so uh, square. And uh, anyway, but for, you know, AR glasses, uh, that's a pretty, it's a pretty good deal. And uh, right now it only works with Windows, but it will work with Android uh, coming up fairly soon. And I don't know if there will ever be Mac support. There might be, uh, or Linux support for that matter. But uh, they've certainly done some prototyping early on in Linux. Uh, so it's not unusual or not impossible that they would have uh, Linux support. They are planning to get um, a hand tracking support as well as object tracking support which is typical for like board game type stuff um you know where you have like uh, various markers or player objects or something like that but right now that's there that's not currently supported but it's definitely intended to be supported also one one, one question that you might want to ask is can this actually support any other uh viewing points other than just flat on the ground like this and answer is not yet but there is definitely plans to be able to do that so that different uh, sort of orientations of the board can be supported so in other words if you mount this on the wall you would be able to watch movies on it basically essentially just through your through your uh, you know projector glasses essentially anyway so i hope this helps a little bit and uh like i say you know if you want to buy a set of ar glasses for windows um for about 300 to 400 dollars uh you know, and especially if you like uh, tabletop gaming, uh, this is a pretty interesting possibility to purchase. All right. So uh, take care. We'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll have a few more videos later on. Okay. Take care.